No, that was uh, most of the settings we uh, touched over. Now I'll go over more on the interface itself. Up here, you can uh, actually toggle the chats on and off, so it's nice to hide. Here you can toggle the social center on and off. You can see Tython, that's the planet I'm on. There's 296 people. If you click on it, you get a, the who list. You can also access your friends, ignore, and, and guild. Here's the Megala icon, which shows you you have one unread message. Uh, we have the hotbar. We have the picture of yourself with your name and your title. We have the buffs that's on you, and the debuffs as well we will show over here. Uh, we have your health bar, where you can see over to the right, uh, you see your health points. And down here is your uh, mechanics, class mechanics. In this case, it's the force power, so uh, you slowly uh, build up. Or uh, in this case, it's called uh, focus. Uh, abilities, of course, you can scroll up and down, and uh, you can actually remove the button down below, and, and so forth. Over here is your enemy, and the same goes for that, his health, and then his uh, class mechanic uh, bar, and the picture, of course. Over here is the uh, minimap, you can actually uh, zoom in and out, so you can see more. Uh, there are some filters you can set on, what you want to see, if you want to see the vendors, the taxi, Trainer, the bind points, the resource, the mail, modification stations, cargo hold access, galactic market kiosk, and crew skill trainer. Here you can click open the world map. Here you see your server lag. If this one goes down and turns red, it means you've got a lot of lag, might be losing connection. Here's the clock, uh, war zones, uh, so you can queue on them. Um, again, over here the other hotbar, up here is the uh, mission tracker, and up here uh, is uh, all the uh, buttons you uh, can use as well uh, as the shortcuts. First one here is your character, which can be accessed by pressing the C button, uh, where you see your uh, main character here with all his uh, item slots, weapons, armor, ear implants, or wrists. They will actually uh, show up an extra one here uh, once you choose your advanced class. Um, if you mouse over your abilities, you will actually see what your bonuses are and what they do. And the same thing here, if you mouse over your uh, dark side, light side points, you can see how many points you've had, what your current alignment is, and when's the next tier. Here's your social points. Uh, or social levels uh, gained up to 10 and here's your battle points which you gain from PvP. Down here you can uh, choose uh, some of your stats you can uh, look up and again you can mouse over and see what the different uh, things do and you can compare it. Down below here will also be uh, companions you can click there and your ships will also uh, be available to, to watch here. Next is your inventory, which can uh, be accessed by either pressing I or clicking up here. And they, as you see, you start with a small inventory. Uh, what I like to do is to take all the stuff I want to keep and put it down here at the bottom level, because everything you loot comes in this way and continues over this way. You can click here to buy expanded inventory modules for 5,000 credits. You can buy the next row or next module. Uh, once you learn a crafting ability, there will show up a little button here saying uh, Reverse Engineer. And you actually click on that button, and then you, uh, the, the item you can Reverse Engineer will uh, light up, and you can click on that to do it. And here's mission items. Uh, some missions uh, have to be uh, uh, completed by using the items from in here, and you can actually drag most of them down to your hotbar uh, and uh, work from there. Lastly is currency, which is all the different kind of uh, awards uh, you can buy stuff for. Uh, you can see how many you've got and so forth. And below here is your credits. Next up is the abilities window, uh, where all your abilities will be. Here is uh, all the standard stuff you start with. Armor proficiencies, your abilities, uh, what weapons you can use. Later on, uh, you will have vehicles listed here. But here, on when you start, there's a few abilities you don't have uh, on uh, the screen at the start. Which One is Revive, where you can actually revive a friendly player. And Revive Companion, if your companion dies. Also, there will be your Racial uh, Ability, which is a Social Ability. In this case, it's Human, 
so they get the ability to rally. And I like to put it over here, and then you make everyone around you cheer. We're going to go in here and pull some of the stuff out. Next up is the mission log, where you can actually see the missions you have. If you click here, you untrack it, it won't show up here, and it won't show up on the map either. So when I haven't clicked it anymore, it won't show up in here in any way. Um, also, you can uh, reset the mission, you can abandon it, on track you can share it with friends, and you can click on all the different ones, and they will be listed by class, that's your class mission, they will be listed by areas and space and so forth. Party uh, should show you all your friends' uh, uh, missions as well. Codex will show you all the information you unlock uh, by uh, finding stuff in-game. Uh, you can read special abilities, you can find your companions in here and read what makes them tick and what they hate. And lockouts will show you all the different lockouts of uh, the different dungeons or uh, vaults and, and stuff. Uh, up here will be your skill tree. Once you reach level 10, you will unlock your advanced class uh, by going to a space station uh, and train there. And then you can skill up with that social window that we went through before. Guilds, that's again if you join a guild. Up here is your companion uh, crafting skills, uh, which can also be accessed through pressing the button N, uh, where you can actually craft stuff, see your harvesting skills, and send your companions out on missions. Then we have the uh, game menu, which I showed you earlier, uh, custom service help, and uh, issue reports. Um, that's the basic stuff for uh, the interface. And uh, I hope you liked it a lot, and it's definitely uh, usable. Uh, have a good one, and I'll uh, see you in the next guide.